Hello, BSN1 and E student nurses. Maggie's Day. Today, we are going to discuss the theory of unitary human beings and the theory of goal attainment. Let us now start with the theory of unitary human beings by Martha E. Rogers by giving you an overview of what you will learn throughout the first topic that will be discussed. The flow of discussion will begin with a brief information about the theories Martha E. Rogers and will be followed by the foundation in making the theory, how it applies the four metaparadigms of nursing, theoretical assumptions, and its importance. Martha E. Rogers was born on the 12th day of May, 1940, and died on March 30, 1994, due to pulmonary failure complicated by emphysema. During her years, she worked at as a professor at New York University School of Nursing and as a fellow in the American Academy of Nursing. With years of learning on different things, especially nursing, she was able to have some publication which includes Theoretical Basis of Nursing in 1970, Nursing Science and Art, A Perspective in 1988, Nursing Science, of Unitary Irreducible Human Being Update in 1990 and Vision of Space-Based Nursing the same year as well. This theory is founded on the basic characteristics that describes the life process of the patient which are energy field, openness, pattern, and pan dimensionality. The energy field is the fundamental unit of all, both living and unliving. It provides a view of the patient and his or her environment as a whole. It continuously change, changes in intensity, density, and extent. Nursing in the science of unitary human beings contains two dimensions. The science of nursing, which is the knowledge specific to the field of nursing that comes from the scientific research and the art of nursing which involves using the science of nursing creatively to help better the life of the patient. According to the theory of unitary human beings, Roger defines nursing as a learned profession and, and is the both science and an art. It is empirical science and like other sciences, it lies in the phenomenal central to its focus. Rogerian nursing focuses on, nurse, on concerns with people and the world they live in. Person here is defined as a being in an energy field that is always interacting with its surroundings. An open system that is more than the sum of its parts is a person. Everything outside of a person is part of an environment which is an energetic, energetic field. According to Rogers, environment is an irreducible pan-dimensional pan energy field identified by pattern and manifesting characteristics different from those of the parts. Each environmental field is specific to its given human field both changes continuously and creatively. And the last metaparadigm, health, is health. Uh, Rogers uses health as a value term defined by the culture or the individual. Health and illness are manifestations of pattern and are considered to denote behaviors that are high value and low value. Rogers, 1980. Events manifested in the life process indicate the extent to which a human being achieves maximum health according to some value system. Presented here on the screen are the theoret theoretical assumptions made by Rogers in line with the theory of unitary human beings. Here, we have the importance, understanding human evolution and its potential for human advancement is at the core of Rogers' research. In order to establish 
nursing identity as a science. The science coordinates universe of open systems and dis designate the emphasis of new paradigm. Rather suggests many ideas for future studies on the basis of this study and research of others. It can be said that the conceptual model is useful. Such utility has been proven in arenas of practice, education, administration, and research. Next is the theory of goal attainment by Imogen M. King. The flow of this part is similar to the first one. It will also start with the background of the theorist, foundations in making this theory, the four metaparadigms, interacting systems given by King, the eight propositions in line with the theory, hypothesis, and its importance. Imogen M. King was born on the 30th of July, year 1923, in West Point, Iowa, and died on December 24, 2007, due to stroke. For her educational background, in 1945, she received a diploma in nursing from St. John's Hospital of Nursing in St. Louis, Missouri. In 1948, she received her Bachelor of Science in nursing education from St. Louis University as well. After nine years, she received her Master in Science in Nursing from the same school and in the year 1961, she received her Doctor of Education from Teachers College, Columbia University. In 1980, she was awarded an honorary PhD from Southern Illinois University. And in 1998, she received another honorary doctorate from Loyola University. This educational attainment of hers are just some of the highlights of the many years she spent in the field. Now, let us dive deeper into the theory. Imogen M. King's middle-range theory of goal attainment was derived from her conceptual system in 1981, which has three interacting systems, personal, interpersonal, and social. The initiative to make the theory came from her wanting to know the nature of nursing, where she noted the way in which nurses in their role, do with, and for individuals that differentiates nursing from other health professionals. King also stated that her theory is different for it describes the nurse-patient interaction process that leads to goal attainment. It explains that the nurse and the patient should be in the same page in communicating, setting goals, and achieving those goals. Factors that affect the attainment of goals include roles, stress, space, and time. Let us now discuss how Imogen King's theory of goal attainment defines the four metaparadigms, which are nursing, person, health, and environment. These definitions are made for nurses to understand her work. Nursing is defined as an observable behavior found in the healthcare systems and society. It has a goal to help patients maintain their health and function in their roles. It is an interpersonal process of action, reaction, interaction, and transaction. Person here is defined as individuals with different needs, wants, and goals. It is said to be unique and holistic of intrinsic worth, capable to think rationally and make decisions. Next is health, where it is a dynamic state in the life cycle in which illness sometimes interferes with it, implies the adjustment of stressors in the internal and external environment by using any available resources. Understanding how we interact with the environment is essential for nurses to attain their goals. This can be in the internal or external to the individual. This can be either internal or external to the individual. As mentioned earlier, 
The theory is based on the conceptual system of King that has three interacting systems, where each of these have different concepts. For personal systems, the concepts of perception, self, growth and development, body image, space, time, and learning are present. As for the interpersonal systems, we have the interaction, communication, transaction, role, and stress. Lastly is the social systems that involves organizations, authority, power, status, decision-making, and control. As mentioned earlier, the theory of goal attainment describes the nurse-patient interaction process that leads to goal development. This tells us that if the nurse and the patient's perceptions, judgments, and actions are congruent, this will lead to goal-related transactions. And if transaction between the two is present, goals will be attained. If goals are attained, satisfaction and effective nursing care will occur. To further understand Imogen King's theory, she developed eight propositions that describe the relationship among concepts. First, if perceptual congruence is present in nurse-client interactions, transactions will occur. If nurse and client make transactions, goals will be attained. Third, if goals are attained, satisfaction will occur. Fourth, if goals are attained, effective nursing care will occur. Fifth, if transactions are made in nurse-client interactions, growth and development will be enhanced. Sixth, if role expectations and role performance as perceived by nurse and client are congruent, transactions will occur. Seventh, if role conflict is experienced by nurse or client or both, stress in nurse-client interactions will occur. Lastly, if nurses with special knowledge and skills communicate appropriate information to clients, mutual goal setting and goal attainment will occur. Imogen King also created hypotheses from her theory. These are perceptual accuracy in nurse-patient interactions increases mutual goal setting. Next, communication increases mutual goal setting between nurses and patients and leads to satisfaction. Satisfactions in nurses and patients increase goal attainment. Goal attainment decreases stress and anxiety in nursing situations. Goal attainment increases patient learning and coping ability in nursing situations. Role conflict experienced by patients, nurses, or both decreases transactions in nurse-patient interaction. Congruence in role expectations and role performance increases transactions in nurse-patient interactions. The theory of goal attainment is important as it is focused on the assessment, planning, goal setting, implementation, and evaluation which are the aspects of nursing process, and it plays a significant role for knowledge building in the discipline of nursing. That is all. We hope that our discussion has been helpful to everyone. Thank you and Padayan Future Nurse.